Hello everyone. I am Neeraj. Welcome to the new episode of User Authentication. So in this session, I am going to work on the refresh token mechanism in our front end, cause uh, we have already worked on the API part, and uh, since we have already successfully completed the refresh token API, so now it's time to integrate that API in our application, so that the user logs into our system. so he will get a refresh token uh, automatically before the token expiry remember while creating our token so we are setting the token expiry as 3 minutes so we will initiate uh, we will initiate the fun the function to refresh the token just before the uh, 3 minutes uh, maybe like 2 minutes 55 second or 57 seconds so something like that so that the user will never log out uh, never logs out Uh, only until he logs out from the system by his own. Okay, so this is what uh, we are going to do, and uh, there can be several ways to achieve this. Like uh, we can go with uh, Axios interceptors, or we can go with the uh, plain uh, JavaScript way. So in this session, I am going to go with the uh, plain JavaScript JavaScript way, or uh, using set interval, and uh, so let's do that. So we will. Let's uh, dive into the VS Code, and uh, this is our login function. So we don't need to work on the login function. So rather, we will need to work on the app dot js. Uh, reason being that uh, this uh, component, this is the file that is getting loaded uh, for the very first time. So that why, so that is, so that is the place where we will attach a uh, interval within our browser uh, browser cache. Okay, so let's do that. So what uh, I'll do is I'll initiate a use effect hook, and uh, first let me let me first write, and uh, then we will uh, definitely understand it well. So what I'm going to do is that I am creating a timer stamp, so thousand milliseconds times sixty times three minutes minus. so i am going to initiate this uh, uh, token refresh function at every 2 minutes or uh, 2 minutes 55 seconds okay and uh, so this is the thing and uh, right and uh, next so i will create a interval interval so let interval equals set interval and uh, so here i am going to have a, give it a arrow function and uh, this arrow function basically so here what i am going to do is that i am going to call a function so update token and uh, this function would be called uh, i mean i am going to it configure it uh, in such a way that this function would be called at every whatever time stamp we provide so something like this okay and also i think like we can also check for the token also so let's say we access the remember we already stored the token in the local storage so window dot local storage dot get item and the name of our key is token so simply this and uh, here uh, if we go very simply that way so before uh, 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 before initiating the update token functions so i am going to it's better to check for the token as well so if it's not null then only so we will fire this update token function okay and uh, this uh, this uh, destructor is uh, very important actually so cause uh, uh, if we don't uh, detach it so otherwise so it will keep on running in the and eventually so our uh, browser can crash so we will need to release uh, release this interval also so we will see clear interval and here we will just simply pass on interval okay so this interval is this variable this uh, function 
and I am going to attach a dependency here. So I am going to if the token variable is not present, then do then do don't need to do anything. Otherwise, so we will initiate this. Uh, uh, this uh, this this use effect uh, hook would uh, would be triggered okay and uh, similarly we will also need to create this function also so i am going to go i am going with uh, the arrow function and uh, this would run in the async mode cause uh, we need to trigger a api call so first of all so here we can say uh, just to just with a log message so we will say inside update token okay so let's test it so uh, what is uh, or maybe for the time being so i am decreasing this this time so that we can get the uh, total idea okay so like this so let's test this the use effect is not defined it looks like it didn't got auto imported sometimes this uh, extension doesn't work properly but otherwise it works properly okay so our application storage is empty so there is nothing such so we will log into our system test so we got the token and uh, Let's see what happens. So we should get this stuff. Looks like this is not firing. Let us uh, let us try to debug it. Uh, yes, inside inside W token. So yes, this is this is working. So this uh, this got called automatically. And all we have to do is that we will need to fire the refresh token uh, mechanism inside this uh, update token function. Okay. So since this is going to be an API call, so first of all we will wrap everything inside the try catch block, and if there is any error, so we will log the error. Or uh, and if everything goes well, so now we will initiate the API calls so const API URL and that would be from the environment so here it's environment and this is auth URL okay so we will say process dot not comma rather env dot this url slash private slash refresh token so this is the url in uh, our api and we will initiate a api call so this would be await and axios it would be a get request actually not comma rather get and uh, we will say very simply pass on the this our url and we need to provide some headers because remember so in our refresh token so uh, uh, our api is expecting a, a variable labeled as token in the header so we will need to pass on the headers so we will say token and uh, this token is going to be so we will Fetch it from window dot local storage dot get item and we will say token simple so far so good so we initiated the api call and now we will need to uh, check the the status code so this is also very simple so we will say response dot status so we will check for the cause for this any successful request so we are returning a 200 so if it's 200 then i am also going to declare a variable and uh, that would be response dot data and 
it also returns a promise so we will True. await it and we will now we will uh, we will uh, need to again reset the token so we will say again window dot local storage dot set item and this takes a key value pair so we will say again the key and the value would be data dot token simple so if uh, this way so looks like we have completed so let's test it yes everything looks fine if anything any error comes in so definitely we will debug it no worries so let's test it so we should get uh, this stuff here so we are getting a 401 unauthorized so our uh, our uh, function is running so there is nothing wrong so we, uh, we are getting this error because uh, we have got uh, uh, our token got expired actually so no worries so we will log in again so that we can get a new token so test okay so we have got a new token and hopefully this time we should get a, a refresh token automatically so we will check in the console log so let's wait for some time and uh, so yes uh, we got a yes we got a 200 response so refresh token route and uh, we got a new token and we got the user object as well and periodically so you can see that periodically automatically it is getting triggered after every two seconds so we can uh, i mean i set this to two seconds just to check for this uh, uh, interval but otherwise so definitely so we should we need we should trigger this function at uh, uh, like for example i am triggering it for uh, two minutes 55 seconds so you can uh, we can go whatever as 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 we required as desired so this way so this way our user will never log out from the system unless and until user clicks on the logout button so very shortly so uh, we can have a logout link as well and logout is uh, literally very very simple so definitely so that would be real fun actually so that's all for this session and uh, if you have anything to say so just uh, uh, let, just let me know in the comment section even some other session so till then take care and happy coding